Hey everyone, it's your girl Anita Flying High here, and this is the recap to Houston Dash versus North Carolina Courage. Ooh, y'all, this is the first match of the end of show season, and uh, we have two expansion teams with uh, Utah coming back from the dead and also Bay FC. But of course, you know, Houston is the team, uh, my team, and um, <clears throat> unfortunately, the first match started off not the way they desired. Not the way we desired. They lost 5-1 to North Carolina. Now, North Carolina, I was doing the commentary. I was live. on, uh, And so make sure y'all y'all go follow me on Twitch uh, for the commentaries live. Uh, yes. Er, or let, shout out to North Carolina. They did their thing. Um, in the first, like they, I, it's like after they kind of got familiar with what their game plan was. It was like every time down the field, they either got a, a corner, either got a shot on goal, or it was a goal, and um, that's that's that was a lot of it was it was like that the second half of uh, most of the match. Um, in Houston, they are in a new lineup, new coach. We had like three players get a start, but ultimately, uh, whew, the, I, I'm imagining this season. I would like to be better than they were because last time, last season they were in 10th place, y'all, out of 12. So we have two more teams. So if they're in the same place, 10th place out of 14, I guess it's an improvement. But we have a new manager, and he's familiar with this situation um, because of the former team he coached uh, in Scot Scotland. And so um, I believe I believe in him. And he's a Gemini as well, the last Gemini to um, – get Houston to the playoffs is, is Carlos and, and Carlos is a Gemini and he coaches Gotham, right? So, I mean, shout out to the Jimmies. I do think that we're going to have success under him. I think that, um, already the formation changed a four, four, two. It actually is pretty nice having Diana and, and CC up top. And then of course we have we got some new players, too, coming in. We got our Swedish midfielder still coming in. So things are going to change with Houston, I imagine. And um, I'm still happy, uh, you know, I'm still happy for the season, even though, like, like I said, the first the first game was a loss, and it was a bad loss. And I'm happy it was away from home because, you know, Houston have one of the worst attendants. Houston Dynamo and the Houston Dash have some of the worst attendants. And, like, I think sometimes it's because there's so many teams in Houston, like, just sports teams just in general. Soccer is not, um, especially in America yet, uh, especially on the men's side, it's not the sport that people are signing up to, hey, let's go watch, go see. So with Houston having a baseball, football, basketball team, soccer is on the, on the last scale. So it is what it is. Shout out to Houston. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Houston. That's why we need a San Antonio team. You know what I'm saying? We need a San Antonio team. Anyways, uh <clears throat> I thought I thought Maria Sanchez scored a goal, like a free kick goal, but I'm looking at the uh, the I'm looking at what Google says, and it says it's an own goal. So I mean, I mean, I'm still gonna credit Sanchez for that. It was at least they didn't like you know have nothing on the board, but Houston were like one of the last teams, and when it came to creating opportunities for themselves, so I, I, I we're gonna have to see that improve. This is especially why they traded for CC Kaiser. Uh, and others, uh, gonna, and I, I'm honestly surprised that they got a player like this uh, Rubinson girl from Sweden, uh, because I had put a little poll on on Twitter on you, I'm sorry on YouTube in my community, because we had another Swedish midfielder um, on my team, but she plays for Manchester City, and uh, I was voting to see, look, 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 who who do y'all think is better, Ellen Robinson or Eight Filipina Angel Doll? And people are like, yo, yo, Eight, they're like Aaron Robinson. I'm just like, well, I'm happy that Houston have her, but I'm just looking at Manchester City, like y'all could have been signed her maybe like uh, when Jill went down, like y'all had a, she's a, apparently a quality midfielder, been with Sweden like in the trenches, so she's an older player, so I'm okay with that. The wisdom and knowledge she's going to be able to bring to the team is going to be really nice. Also, she's a Taurus, similar to how Jill 
allowed uh, Houston, allowed Manchester City to be a, have a little bit more practicality, a little bit more um, strength. Also, Jenny that I, Jenny that went to Tigas is also a tourist. So shout out to tourists. You know, I got anyways, anyways. Um, yeah, so Houston still have some uh, players coming now. Uh, I feel like okay, it was our first match getting to see. Uh, I guess everyone back, um, but uh, he played uh, Andressa. Uh, I feel like she was causing a lot of problems. Like, she kept going down for fouls, and I just think that's the Brazilian thing. But I, I would like to see more connection with her, maybe Sanchez. But there was another girl, I think it was Pattinson. She wore she wore the number 30 shirt. Uh, and I loved the uh, energy that she gave Houston on the wing. Or it looked like she was like a fullback. Let me look at this lineup real quick. Pattinson, yeah. So, shout out to her. It looks like in the lineup, she was playing in the... Uh, as a right midfielder, next, or I guess if you're looking at it, left midfielder, right midfielder, whatever. She's on the wing next to Sanchez. And her name is Avery, 21, she's from Florida. I'm not sure if we drafted her this year or last year, but uh, yeah, I think she had a great match. She just looked exciting. Um, every time she got the ball, very powerful runner. And out of all the rookies, she impressed me. Just She got the start. I guess she impressed Fran. Also, coming off the bench, um, Kiki. Kiki Von Slanton, she, I know she's uh, new, number 12. Yeah, she impressed me as well. A lot of powerful runs in towards North Carolina. And she she tried to do everything she could. Um, but yeah, shout out to uh, North Carolina. I really was impressed uh, by their game plan. Uh, first of all, Pinto was such an option. Like every time they went down, they were like, they were fine. Like they were just being able to find her. She was making those runs like to stretch that Houston back line every time. So they always had a player available just just chasing the whole game. Also, Tyler Lucy had a lot of shots. Um, Hopkins got goals. But everyone did well. And, sh and, and um, even even the girl, uh, what is her name? Ma Ma Mana <laughs> the little Japanese girl, yeah? Um, Ma Maka? Maka? Masasuki Saka. Oh goodness! Shout out to her. She's so amazing. Honestly, she's so amazing. Uh, every time I get to see her play, she's just very calm and cool and collected. I mean, she's like a baby Hasegawa. So uh, I mean, shout out to Japan. We're gonna get to see Japan in the She Believes Cup. So I'm really happy to see. Maybe she'll influence uh, Japan with Yuri in the middle. But um, in general. North Carolina, well done. I mean, I know y'all played against Houston, so some people are not going to give y'all the credit. But overall, in general, based upon the teams I kind of got a glimpse to watch yesterday because there was a lot of matches, y'all worked very well. And um, I'm looking forward to seeing how y'all y'all face up against some of the other heavy favorites in the league. But in general, um, Houston will have their home match next match. But... Uh, Yes, in the Bissell weekend, in the Bissell first kickoff, uh, we had the Challenge Cup. That was a bust, uh, I guess. Go San Diego Wave. Uh, but uh, San Diego Wave ended up winning uh, 88th minute goal from who? Alex Morgan. I can't believe it. She's still doing her thing, but whatever, you know. Hey, shout out to um, shout out to her. They, you know, hey, y'all know I like um the back line though. Shout out to Germa. Uh, you know, shout out to Big Jimmy. Uh, Germa. Anyways, I liked... Okay, when I was watching the Challenge Cup, okay, the one thing that uh, caught my eye was pretty funny. Uh, I guess Casey Stoney had told the ladies, um, y'all were the best in the league. Y'all won the league because y'all were number one. It was And it technically made sense. They were the best in the league. Um, and they just didn't win playoffs. But they were the best in the league. And here they are beating Gotham, the champions. And I was like, mm, they were the best in the league in this bitch. So uh, is San Diego the team to beat again? We'll see, we'll see. But they had a pretty spicy lineup too, um, San Diego. I thought both teams could have done it, you know. It is what it is. Um, but that's the recap for North Carolina and Houston Dash. Houston Dash ended up dropping points on the opening match day. 5-1 to uh, North Carolina, uh, you know. But <clears throat> also, 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 hey, you see that San Diego got sold for like 120 20 mil, and you know, that guy, I tell you, the guy that's on, the guy that sold San Diego away, that guy was on Epstein's uh, uh, list 
with the um he was he wasn't on the list but he was associate he was he knew information so I'm not surprised he got he sold that team good for him because we don't want that type of energy over here and I'll see you on the next one those